The problem with many believers is they have so much, but they don't know how to activate what they have. The way you activate. Hi, I'm Confidence Moses. Welcome to Premium Ninja TV. The problem with many believers is that they have so much, but they don't know how to activate them or use them. Any how you want to put it. This is a sermon from Apostle Michael Oropo. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Premium Niger TV. If this is your first time coming across our channel, please hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon. Guys, you need to listen to this sermon. This is a very powerful sermon and it will help you. It will help you. Are you having difficulties in activating your gift? Because as a believer, there is something so special inside of you that is supposed to make a way for you. You know, that is supposed to put you on the same table to dine with the kings. But many of us don't know how to activate them. I want you to watch this video and also listen to the message. Listen very well to Apostle Michael Arokbo. And after that, tell me what you have to say about this sermon. The problem with many believers is they have so much, but they don't know how to activate what they have. The way you activate the hand of God is by prayer. This is what the apostles did. And the moment they did it, see what happened. Acts 4, 33. With great power, God gave witness to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Great grace was upon them. They began to do unexplainable wonders. In Acts chapter 5 verse 12, the Bible said, And many signs and wonders were done by the hands of the apostles amongst the people. Acts 5 12, many signs and wonders. In verse 15, he said, It was so much that they dropped those who were sick on the street, that by all means the shadow of Peter. If a man whose shadow is raising the dead is passing, will you come to arrest him? The hand had moved, but they provoked it in prayer. First Kings 18 from verse 41. Elijah told the king, hurry home before the rain catches up with you. He didn't go to sleep. The Bible said he went and put his head in between his, his legs and prayed seven times. And he told Elijah, go and check. He prayed, go and check. He prayed, go and check. At the seventh time, he said, I see something like the feast of a man. He said, that is it. I've got it, my sign. And in verse 46, he said, and the hand of God was upon Elijah. So the way you provoke the hand of God is by prayer. See, those of you who don't pray, you are missing. It's like you have money in your account, yet you are begging. Because you don't know how to go to the bank to cash out. Prayer is our way of cashing out on the hand of God. Because what Elijah did, the Bible said, is for all of us. Elijah is a man subject to like passion, just as we are. The Bible said he prayed earnestly that it should not rain. And he did not rain on the face of the earth for three and a half years. And he said he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain. Every time the devil stops you from praying, he has robbed you your destiny. This is why we apply principles of men. But when we are done applying their principle, we also come into our closet. There is something we know that they don't know. And he said, the spirit helped our infirmities. For we know not what to pray as we ought to. But the spirit himself maketh intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. So we pray until the spirit in us begins to pray. Because you all, he said, building up yourself. Jude verse 20, upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. If I know that I need the hand of God for my enemies to be in trouble, if I know I need the hand of God to move in speed, if I know I need the hand of God for the supernatural, even when I'm in the bathroom, Makadea, the other to wash the Pekori, Bakata, because prayer is not about prayer meeting. I must not be in a prayer meeting to pray. I can be driving Marakatoas, Zakata, Porate, Bantori, Bagadata. I can even be talking to you. And while we are talking, once in a while, I will pray under my breath. Because I don't need to pray loud. The Bible said when Hannah was praying, she wasn't talking, but her mouth was shaking. And she was chanting, talking in her spirit. And when Eli saw her, Eli thought she was drunk. I don't need to shout to pray. Sometimes, under your breath, mm, See, sometimes when the thing is about to become an embarrassment, you excuse yourself, leave the people alone, enter the bathroom, lock the door. You are not going there to urinate, you are going there to ventilate your spirit, and you are in that bathroom. 
Baratua Tatina, Bakoru Atakatina Sata. See, you came for the interview, you read all night, but you discover there's a dimension of wisdom that you have not taught. Allow everybody who is reading, enter the toilet. Maro Bekina, Bakosa Bagata, Sosane Baratua. Pray in the spirit, and as you pray, you will marvel that a time will come when heaven will connect to it. A time will come when the mind of God will connect to the mind of man. And when you show up, they will no longer see you. They will see your God. Because you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, God's own special people. God fought to showcase the excellencies of God. If you are the one man see, then you are in trouble. It's a henceforth. No we, no man after the flesh. And it doesn't matter. You can be young. You can be old. You can be male. You can be female. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The Bible says women receive their dead back to life. You don't need to be a prophet for the hand of God to be upon you. You can be anybody, but the hand can rest upon you. Time will fail me to speak of Gideon, of Barak, of Jephthah, of Samson, of David, Samuel, and the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms. I must subdue kingdoms in my lifetime. There's too much darkness in my generation. But I know it takes the hand of God. This is why I cook myself. Ah, I cook myself. See, there are times when for weeks I go nowhere. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. See, when you are done cooking, if you come out and cry, your generation will hear. They will hear. The Bible said John was a burning and a shiny light. He didn't go to the city center. He went to the backside of the wilderness. And when he cried from there, nations gathered. He said the whole of Jerusalem and Judea went to him. Nobody can deny the hand of God. They asked John Wesley, why did you leave town? You are in the bush and men are coming to see you. He said, I set myself on fire. My generation come to see me born. How do you do it? It's on the altar. This is when you become a spectacle for your generation because he make it his angel spirit, but his ministers, they are flames of fire. My brother, you need to burn. You need to burn. If you don't burn, the devil will make a mess of you. You need to burn. If you don't burn, your enemies will make a mess of you. You need to burn. Things can fail in your hand. Higher. Pray the Holy Ghost for one minute. You don't need to be old. You don't need to be old. Just carry the so after listening to that message, I believe you have something to say. Please drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to Premium Niger TV and also click on the bell icon.